everyone, I'm Rod Wortham and welcome to this episode of Race Face Driver Updates. We only had four drivers seeing action this weekend due to several races being canceled due to weather. We start off at Martinsville Speedway and the NASCAR Cup Series where Anthony Alfredo was making his first start at the famous paperclip. The race started on Saturday under the lights but had to finish on Sunday due to rain. Let's go straight to the driver for a post-race recap. Well, that was probably the most eventful race I've ever been a part of. We had a really great day going. Kept adjusting on the iRacing Ford Mustang, got it better, drove up to the field, had a great opportunity at top 20. That's where we were running around. We're on the lead lap. Uh, then I wheel hopped, getting into one, spun out, didn't hit anything. Drove back up through the field to get the lucky dog, which is pretty awesome. Got back in the lead lap, and then there was a massive pileup off turn two. That was unavoidable. Had some heavy damage. Guys did a great job. Uh, getting the car raceable. We went back out there at plenty of speed. We're still running about in the 20th position. Then I had to come down pit road twice for battery failures. So that definitely hurt our day. We ended up 27th. But on to the next one. Learned a lot. Uh, the guys fought so hard. Thankful for everyone at Front Row Motorsports and all you who support me. Thanks, Anthony. Due to no practice and no qualifying, I can't even imagine how tough it is to turn your first laps there under green. Up next for Anthony, Richmond Raceway, this Sunday, live on Fox at 3 p.m. Eastern Time. Joe Valento was at Orange County Speedway for a day of testing on Thursday and Friday with his DGR team in preparation for an upcoming Cars Tour race. The test went so well, they decided to stay and race Saturday night, and it paid off. Joe parked his number 17 Ford Performance Mustang in Victory Lane. A good time to win as team owner David Gillen was in attendance. Here's a post-race recap from Joe. Hey guys, Joe Valento just wrapped up a race at Orange County Speedway and we got it done. P1, uh, can't thank everyone enough on this David Gillen Racing crew for all their hard work and effort they put in this weekend. Uh, would also like to thank Ford Performance, Napa Auto Parts, Nitro Lubricants, the Friends of Jacqueline Foundation, and Race Face Brand Development. Great job, Joe. Up next for Joe, Cars Tour at Orange County Speedway on April 24th. We now venture down to Texas where Caden Honeycutt was back in his number 10 dirt late model at Kennendale Speedway Park. Let's check in with Caden and get his take on this eventful outing. Hey everybody, it's Caden Honeycutt here. Uh, just give you guys a recap on how the weekend went on Saturday night in the uh, nice looking dirt late model right there. Saturday we went to Kennedale Speedway Park and we had a uh, last in our heat and we just, <clears throat> we started third and we just we just got flat out wrecked going into the last corner and started on the dead last row and the feature and out of 24 cars so we started 23rd and uh we had one caution and fortunately we were able to all the way to get back up to six and 25 laps so we just have great speed i mean there hasn't been one week that this car has not been fast um so eventually we're going to find some luck in this car put it up front and start winning more races in it as it should but um probably next this weekend we're probably going to go to monarch speedway for the sooner series uh we haven't decided yet but uh i'll keep everybody updated on our facebook page and and we'll we'll find some luck and we're going to go win more races in this car wow 15 cars passed in 25 lap this kid's a wheel man up next for caden cars tour at orange county speedway april 24th we now head to the West Coast where young 14-year-old Jake Bowman was competing in the SRL Southwest Tour Pro Late Model Series at Irwindale Speedway. Jake ran in the top 10 for most of the race, but fell back to 14th on lap 36. He then started his march back towards the front and brought home a top 10 finish in 9th. Up next for Jake, SRL Pro Late Models on May 1st. Other drivers seeing action this weekend include Sheldon Creed, who will return to the NASCAR Camping World Truck Series at Richmond Raceway on Saturday, and you can catch all of that action on FS1 at 1.30 Eastern Time. Jesse Love will be in a super late model for Wimmer Motorsports at Dells Raceway Park in Wisconsin on Saturday and Sunday. Cassidy Hines, who will compete for the first time on the East Coast 
with Lee Falk Racing on Friday at A Speedway, then Tri-County Speedway on Saturday. Gavin Graham will be at Five Flag Speedway in his number 38 Kurt Brett Pro Truck on Friday, then head to 417 Southern Speedway in Ponta Gorda, Florida on Saturday. Carter Whalen will compete in round three of the Dixie Shoot at the Metro Atlanta Quarter Midget Association Complex in Brazelton, Georgia on Saturday. And new race face driver Landon Cox will also be at the Dixie Shootout in Georgia on Saturday. That's it for this week's Race Face Driver updates. And remember, if you have missed any of our shows, you can get caught up at raceface.tv on demand. Don't forget to follow us on social media. Make sure to check out the Speed Zone Race Store for the latest in apparel. As always, we encourage you to support local racing in your communities. We'll be back next week with more from your favorite Race Face Driver. So go out there, have a great race week, I'm Rod Wortham. Thanks for watching.